When was this number three, Stu? This, Dan, is number three in April 1981. I'll never forget the first day at the pit. Me and my father worked a 72 hour shift and then we walked home 43 miles through the snow. It was perfect. But over inside us clothes made out of old sacks. Eventually we trudged over the hill until we could see street lights twinkling in our village. My father smiled down at me through the icicles hanging up his nose. Nearly home now, lad, he said. We stumbled into the house and stood there freezing cold and tired out, shivering and miserable in front of a meagre fire. Any road, the mum says, cheer up lads, I've got you some nice brown bread and butter for your tea. Evie, feather went crackers. He reached out and gently pulled me mum towards him back throat. You big ugly idle ugly warts, he said. You great, useless, spawny-eyed, barret-faced wazzock. <laughs> Get away with words, me further. Been to college, you know. You've been out playing bingo all afternoon instead of getting some proper stack ready for me and this lad. He explained to me, poor little purple-faced man. Dad turned to me and said, Arthur, you can never remember my name. Here's a for crowd. Nip down to chip oil and get us a nice piece of addict for us tea. And cannot live by bread alone. He was a retailer to me, Father. <laughs> he said of our working folks should have some dignity and pride and self-respect. And as though they should come home so warm and cheerful. And then he threw me mam on fire. We didn't have no tellies or shoes or bedclothes. We made us all fun in those days. You know, when our old lad, you get a tram down to town, buy three new suits and an overcoat, four new pair of good boots, go and see George Fomley at Palace Theatre, get blind drunk, have some steak and chips, a bunch of bananas and three stone of monkey nuts, and still have change out at Farley. We had lots of things in them days that they haven't got today. Rickets. Diphtheria, Hitler, and by, we did look well going to school with no backside of those trousers and all those little heads painted purple because we had a ringworm. <laughs> they don't know they were born today.